best intro yet. Hey, everybody, welcome back to GDPG. <laughs> uh, we had recorded, if people saw cat lateral damage. No, this uh, is probably going to go first. Well, next week, you can uh, stay tuned for some cat lateral damage. Basically, we've been fighting over who's going to actually do the intro back and forth. So this time, we both were like, oh, we'll let the other person do it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, today we're playing Lost Tomb. Uh, this is another game by Barrick Cook. Um, and if if you if anybody saw our playthrough of Pac-Man EXE or Pac-Man awesome. Horror, which was absolutely fantastic, uh, that game was also made by Barrick Cook. This game is also by him, but it's a lot simpler than Pac-Man, um, simply because it was a game jam game. Mm. Um, and I, we we can keep talking about it too, but it's um. It's very straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. Very simple control scheme. We're basically moving, crouching, and jumping, and running. Yes. And using the mouse to run around. Okay. Um, so, FPSs. they don't really... He doesn't do much explaining what you do right off the bat, um, but the objective of the game is you need to find some onks. I think you need to find four onks. Is it here? No. No. Is it... That's something... <laughs> I actually really do like the art in this this little game jam game yeah. though. Um, it's very much like a like a Doom reference, but the lighting is oh. awesome. You know that is a really good comparison because it's it's actually the same style oh, of art that this. Doom used. I love this the rotating pot. Yeah, it's it's um, oh, what is it called? It's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called. It's it's basically billboard um, like two D. Objects. I think mm. it's, I think billboard might be the right term, um, but yeah, it, it's just 2D art that rotates along with the camera to give it sort of a 3D effect. And the Doom did that too, mm. um, but it's a lot easier to render walls in 3D than it is for, you know, rounded objects. Yeah. So I'm not claustrophobic by any means. However, the idea of this. <clears throat> Being in, I'm just gonna say like a like a tomb or a pyramid where mm -hmm. you're underground, and you're going through this. Oh yeah, it would I I would lose my mind, and I don't even know why. Like, just doing that, just the thought of doing that messed with me <laughs> for just like two seconds. And and you'll find too, there are thing there are traps in, in stuff in this game, and um, that little crawl space. So far as I've experienced in my, my personal playthrough, um, I don't think anything bad can happen in them. It's just mm. there to freak you out. Hmm. Now I'm sure... So, Barrick Cook, from what I understand, is making a full release of this game, too. So Oh, cool. I, I think he's... Uh, he's probably already started development of it because the game jam's done. Um, but I imagine he'll do something with the, these little crawl spaces in yeah. the full release. Hmm. I have oh. oh man It's funny I heard a click and I was like what the hell what was that? It got me too. It definitely got me like the first couple of times Damn. until I was like, alright, how do I trick these? If you notice though, look look up. Oh shit. Okay, there are some areas where you can't actually see the ceiling. Creepy. But the collapsible ceilings do look different. So that they do, yeah. Yeah. So it, it kinda trains you to start looking up. Oh. Yeah, see? And I don't think anything... Kind of what kind of a tomb is this? I mean, it could be more like a tomb inside of a pyramid. Pyramids could be massive. Yeah. So I really do, like... I, I, I From time to time, whenever I'm playing games like this, I'll take a look at the uh, at the, the, the pattern. The texture? The texture for the wall. Uh, I like this one a lot. It is repeated. But it has to be. It, it does have to be, but not as... It's it's forgiving. Well, I, I mean, even if you look back at the wall... Well, maybe not. If you look at the spikes yeah, you're saying. On, the, on the ground, <laughs> um, there's even, like, every now and then there's a little crack in one of the, the bricks. And it, it happens pretty infrequently, too. Um, yeah, so right there... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think he, he did some good texture work. I mean, obviously, yeah. if you look at where, like, the ceiling intersects with the walls, you got some weird, like... It's like a 90-ish uh, degree angle. Like, yeah, you get 90-degree yeah. angles, and then you get bricks that are, like, kind of cut in half. But yeah. at the end of the day, for a game jam game, you don't really... This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, like, it, those those are 
silly to gripe about. Hey, look, an Ankh. Uh, Those are Ankhs, right? Yes, that okay, is Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad I'm not crazy. What I also like is that, so when you're walking, the arm moves back and forth, right? What I like yeah. is that they took the time for the flame animation to swing back and forth with the torch. It's not just a static animation that just goes from side to side. You know what that actually probably is? Is a particle generator, and um, it's... So the way... Oh, okay, so this is these are your keyholes. So this I, is how you know that this is where you need to go. This is scary. So if you hit uh, E, I think... Or click. Yeah. Okay. But the uh, <laughs> the flame effect... Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Oh my god, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, no way. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. You said this wasn't scary. I didn't encounter that in my playthrough. No, this is... I played this multiple times. Barrett Cook, why are you about to make me have a panic attack? <laughs> That was That's that, fantastic. that freaked me out. I wonder if you just stay in. He was in so what's... tall. He was uh, yeah. He was super tall. That in my mind is one of the creepiest things. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, no, that was that was nicely done. Wow, Jesus. All right. So it wasn't anyway. like a jump scare or anything. No, I mean it sort of was right, but at the same time, it wasn't that it it popped out and then disappeared. It was that. It crept it, it toward went. us, and it took us a while to realize it was even there. Yep. And when we did, it was a, oh my god, what is happening? Yeah. Did I? What the? F it is pretty easy to get lost in this game. I, although, I swear to god. I, it's, is... it's small enough where I think that's okay. Yeah. Um, I think if if Beric adds a lot more to this game, um, it would be smart for him to separate these like mazes and sections yeah so if you get like past that first room with the four onks then then he can you know switch things up from there but i think the actual size of the current like structure um i think that's good yeah make um, it too big and then you're never going to be able to beat the game without other tools so i wonder if the mechanic of the ankh in relation to the mummy uh is almost a, a little bit of a throw to slender um, in what way? So in Slender the Arrival, the idea is that you're going around picking up these little notes of paper, right? Mm. Uh, there's something tied to the Slender Man. For every one you pick up, the more active he is. Now I like, I really like that for the mummy, he is a moving thing. And you, if... Um, well, yeah, if he wasn't moving, then that would feel like a total ripoff of Slender. Right, exactly. Now, the question uh, is... Look, uh, okay, you're good question is... What is that? Oh, it's a lever. Oh, there are two levers. Mmm. Oh. Oh, hey! Oh. You know, you totally lucked out there. I bet you anything you could have died if you yeah, hit the wrong lever. Yeah, I know. Um, but I wonder if the more onks you pull... The more likely it is that... You'll run the, into them? Oh, I'm scared now. It's, oh, you know, shit. It's, it's possible, right? I think, um... What? From what? What? Did you fall? I didn't see. I heard the. I heard something. That hmm. was weird. Maybe the mummy hit you from behind. No, because I. I mean, I don't think he was behind me. Plus, he was. He moves kind of slow. I think my normal walking speed matches, if not goes a little bit faster than his. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And in, in my playthrough, I didn't see the mummy, um, but I also didn't put any of the onks on the wall until uh, I had them all. Um, so it's possible that it's triggered after you put the first one in, um, which makes sense from a game design perspective, right? Yeah. Because then it makes sure that the player at least knows how to do the first step. Yep. However, I would actually argue that that's not necessary because as soon as the player sees one, like if they see an... Oh, oh God. Oh. Okay, so that's not the case. But either way, <laughs> to, to, to finish that thought, I don't think it would be necessary for the player to put the ankh in the wall because you see the wall and then you see the ankh, you already know what you need to do, right? Yeah. You don't really need to explain it much further than that. It's a key in a keyhole. <sighs> so it could actually be triggered from picking up the first ankh and maybe in my playthrough I was just that lucky. Well, what's weird is that that's the second time we've run into him and it's always been right by that room. So I wonder if the reason you didn't run into him is because the second you go to that room, He's there. Maybe you're lingering in, in 
room's too long. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you turned yourself around super quick. Mm. Go, 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 go. Uh, I don't even know if he's near me. Actually, that is something to think about. Um, because when I played, I was basically constantly running, which also made me motion sick. Um, Weird. From what? It's, it sounds like it's like an arrow coming out of the wall. It must be. You you didn't. But there's look, no. You didn't look to the right though before you went over there. Maybe there was an arrow wall. That's okay. I feel like okay. Call me crazy. Okay, crazy. It's the Call of Duty kill cam mechanic. When you die, because this game can sort of come, death can come from anywhere. Mm-hmm. When you die, it, it sort of freezes you wherever you are, right? And excuse the camera. Right. What if it automatically makes you look at what killed you? Okay, I, I actually... If only I was so worried you were going to say they should do a, a Call of Duty style where it's like a slow-mo replay and it no. shows you. That wouldn't that, feel appropriate annoying. for this game. Um, but, I mean... Oh, this just got creepier. Seeing what killed you before you die or what's going to kill you before you die could make sense. I think the fear with that is the player might feel um, like they were cheated because, you know, what if they're like, well, I could have run away, and now that this happened, now I feel like the control was taken away from me in an unfair way. Mm -hmm. um, think about what that would be like if that same thing happened with a mummy, right? Oh, that's true. Um, so that one's a little bit harder to do. I think at least having text telling you, being like, you were killed by blah, 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 yeah. is, is better than nothing, right? But maybe that's just me. I'm scared now. I've only ever had two. Oh. Only two more to go. Don't. Don't, don't be slow. Don't. If you're too slow, the mommy's gonna get you. Shut up. Mommy gonna get you. Mommy gonna get you. And I'm like looking at every wall. Making sure there's no, like, hole for... A... See, this is what creeps me out. If the mummy starts crawling after me, I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, that would be fantastic. Are you kidding me? Lose my shit. That's like proper horror game lose... stuff right there. Oh! oh. oh. It, so that's what it was. It was a totally... <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't see the... Come on! So it, it was it was like this, right? There was... There was he, you're here... It went like this, where this is where the first arrow was, yeah. and it went in, and then back in again, and then out. So there were two little arrow things. <laughs> it's more just because my heart keeps, like, skipping a beat, and then I get angry. <laughs> okay, I don't want your pots. Your cardboard two-dimensional pots. When I Which first played totally this game, I spent a lot of time just, like, crouching and clicking at them, like, what do these do? Can I pick them up? Uh. <laughs> I was like, no, they're just there for fun. It's a nice I way to... Like, I, yeah, it gives flavor, but then it's like, so there are pots and there are skulls. Yeah. There you go. Well, the thing is, that's probably the only thing you have to kind of judge um, what direction you've come from. Yeah, that's true. Because otherwise, you, you can't, like... Oh! All right. Maybe you can trigger it and then, like, run past it. Oh, yeah, it just keeps firing. So you want to go... Yeah, there you go. Bam! Oh! God! <laughs> it's a timing thing, I think. I think... I wonder if you can crouch under him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fifth that times would, the charm. That would make a little bit of sense, wouldn't it? Of course, you it? have to see them first. Yeah, it is pretty hard to notice them. I mean, at least you kind of have the, the wiggle room to kind of peek around the corner before you get shot by them, but... Plus, you can hear it, too. Yeah. I think... So, the game is randomly generated, right? Yeah, damn it. Um, but I think it randomly generates... Uh, I don't know if it changes the rooms every What's playthrough. That? Have you noticed a different layout? Have you noticed the sound? I heard that, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like that. Um, yes, it does consistently change. 
So, oh, okay. Yeah, like, I guess it does. Is... I think it chooses some of the challenges, though, based on game load. Because you've been seeing a lot of challenges that I didn't see at all consistently. Bam, oh. there you go. Wow, how about that magic? It came up from underground. Or from below. From the depths. From the depths. <laughs> from the depths. From the depths. <laughs> I'm so happy you're the one playing this. Why? If I played it, I'd probably be, like, sprinting constantly. And, uh, probably puke when I was done with it. Yeah, no. Have you ever played the original Doom? Uh, I did. Yeah? I never got all the way through it. It's hard. It's really hard. Is this working? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you yeah, jumping go, 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 you go. jumping scared me more than the mummy did. Which is like, oh god, something's happening now. Uh, <laughs> that was genuine terror, <laughs> by the way. Oh uh, god dang it. What? Oh, it was the ceiling. <sighs> oh. Ugh. Should we turn up the volume a little bit? So you can hear some of these things? <laughs> Aren't you excited to play Five Nights at Freddy's? Fuck that. Fuck it. We've already promised it. Uh, you can promise it till you're blue in the face. You will have to chain me to this couch and, like, hold my phone hostage. I mean, I'll do it. Especially because it's hold my views. phone hostage because I don't want to get really dark and be like, hold my family hostage because that's like a, a plot for a bad movie or something. I mean, I'd be for that too. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> this one's hard. I think you have to, yeah, do a sprint oh. jump. Ha! Damn, Come get me now, mummy. I think this one killed me more than anything. Actually, I wonder if you could kill the mummy that way. He or probably, if he'll he just probably like, wouldn't walk off. He'd just like stay there waiting for you. Oh, okay, listen, I know I trash talked you just now. Just don't, just ignore no, it. Just don't appear. Just don't. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so we do get a little no, no, sound no, no, effect no, no, when no. he appears. No, 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 no. There you go. No, no, he no, probably no. can't crawl. <laughs> I thought the little like drums were it now. like. I think I'm safe. <laughs> okay, so that's a mechanic right there. What? When the drums start going, he's on your tail. Like you have that okay. initial arrows. Okay. Watch it. Crawl. And. Well, what? <laughs> oh. oh god! Get under there! Turn around, see if he follows you. I don't know that I want to. Oh, oh yeah, he's just gonna wait for you. <laughs> You're a dick! Burn him! What if he just like crawled in there super fast and killed you? Oh, please don't. Barrett Cook, if you did that with this mummy, we will have problems. Although, Barrett Cook. Since you're making a full release of this game, you should totally do that. <laughs> Guess who's gonna have to suffer through it again during the full release? You are, cause no. No, what? Maybe there's multiple. Are you stuck? No, maybe not. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Nope. Run, 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 run. No, you got it, you got it, you got it. Yes! <sighs> Jeez, man. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's something up with this room. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, heart heart rate rising. Oh, this is what we like as horror game players. And I'm back in this room again. For some reason, I went back there even though I knew there was nothing there. Oh, God. Is this just a straight up dead end? Yeah. No. Nothing in here. Well, yeah, there's nothing in there. We didn't really look at the other room, though. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Look look up, maybe? And, like, at that end? Wow, okay. Look at that. Can you hit the wall? Alright, good luck, buddy. You got it. Just dodging it. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I guess they can still hit you while crawling. But it didn't before. <laughs>
<laughs> More Cujo freaking out. I'm sorry. Wouldn't you? No, actually, I did fine when I... I, I you know, it's funny. In hindsight, I actually want to watch the replay of the footage when I screamed. When you really when I, freaked? When I actually freaked out because I want to see you jump. It'll probably be, like, <laughs> kind of subtle but, like, really jerky oh, and, man. like, with a weird expression. Nick and Nathan and all of them are going to love watching that. All right, that means we get three views minimum. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're not, like, lowballing it or anything. Yeah. We'll get Barry Cook to watch it, too. Oh, you got the ceiling! Yeah, there you go. Okay. And it will continue. Oh, you got your unk. Good. I heard the little jingle. Oh, the sound. Oh. Okay, so last time it was that one that did it. Bam, okay. Are there two or three levers in there? I don't want to find out. Oh. Yeah, I think there are th three. There are four. Wow. Oh, that, that sign tells you. Look at the sign. It says the fourth one is the one that has to go down. Oh, good. So you cool. just get lucky. All right. Cool. I wonder That's if it random cool. randomly chooses that or... I don't know. I, I doubt he had the time to... Program the random. Oh, it still activates. Oh yes. Okay. It's not a one-time deal. I'm. I'm. Oh. <sighs> Watch for mummies. Shut up. Oh fuck you. What does it mean though? It's probably just ambiance. Shit. Could be. Or it could be a mummy has spawned. Don't. <laughs> Sound effects are like the number one most important thing up oh, in horror games. Fuck are you! Yes, sound is definitely important. Although I think this game does a really good job, or rather, it's the ceiling, ceiling, ceiling! <laughs> oh! You haven't gone to the left in there, I think. Um, this game does a good job of not relying on sound effects, but actually using the shadow. Whoa! The shadow and, like, the darkness to, uh, scare the players more than anything. It's a dead end, anyway. Sad day. But that's why the mummy, I think, is so scary. It's not the sound effect that's frightening. It's actually realizing that he's right in front of you. Yep. This was the... Okay. So I have to go left to get out of here. Yes. I've got two? Yeah, you have two right now. I feel like you've been over here, though. Yup. Run like a bitch, run like a bitch, run like a bitch. Pancreas, pancreas, pancreas. It was pancreas. just, like, no mummies over there. Yeah, I kind of wonder if there are just multiple mummies and they're constrained to their areas, or if they there's one and he just, like, teleports. That's my thought. Yeah, it could be either, really. It seems like the areas where we do encounter the mummy, though, it, the Is mummy doesn't really seem to... circle? The mummy, mummy always seems to be in those areas, and then the mum areas where we haven't encountered the mummy, um, such as, like, that collapsing ceiling room. Um, we haven't seen the mummy over there. That's I don't true. think you've gone to the right, yeah. This one seems creepy. Silent. Silence is also creepy. <laughs> no, now he's gonna block the way! Over That's here. the ceiling. Yep. Hold on. Bear with me. So the second you break eye contact and move far enough away, he goes away. <laughs> so that's not the way to go, I think. Either that it's or you not. have to lure him out and then loop around. <sighs> you got this! You can do this! If I can beat this game, so can you. Fuck you, you never had to deal with the mummy. Which is the deal, main I had to deal worry. with other things. Just don't be scared of the mummy. Don't go that way. I have to. 
Oh, apparently you didn't spawn this time. Hey, look, dead end. Did you go back the same way? Shut up. So behind me is, or over there is a safe area too. Alright, looks like I'm going this way. Alright. I wonder if there are any other enemies that Good. that we haven't seen yet. Straight across. Straight across. Straight across. You think that's the best way to do it? God, that, uh, okay, I'm, because uh, I know, I know that room now. It's got boom, boom, and boom. Now, the thing with that third one is that it's so close to the pathway that you can't you outrun can't, it. You can't outrun it, so how the hell do you get past it? You time it. That's oh, what you're supposed you to do. time it between the... Fuck it. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't give a shit anymore. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Uh, Barrett Cook, well done with this game. Um, Chris, I'm sure, is going to give it a shot. But uh, this will be my final attempt. Okay. Um, so, you know, uh, final thoughts for me. Um, the lighting is fantastic. The distance uh, that your torch gives light is perfect, in my opinion. It still gives that air of mystery. Uh, there's a lever somewhere I need to press or something. I think it was in that room. I think it was, was behind it? a pillar. Um, I love the textures. I love the swaying hand back and forth. Um, I can't quite hear if there's a sound of the torch burning. Um, I don't think so. Um, in which case, you know, that could be kind of cool to have. At the same time, it could get a little annoying depending. Yeah. Because it's always there, you know? Yeah, it's true. Um... I'm curious to see what the uh, the art will be like in the final version. I, like if if he's going to stick to the the Doom ish style, or if he's going to go a little bit more um, like three D. He could. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what would be better. I mean, I guess that sort of is dependent I, on, on his budget. It's getting for the it point too. across. Yeah, it, it still works very well for what yes. it's trying to do. The and, only thing he would need to do is create a crawling animation for the mummy. Yeah, but then again, the whole I think having those crouch sections is actually kind of like a safe haven, and I do like. There you go. You got like to that the more. Right. Oh shit! Nice. Nice, you're doing it. You got what two? Two. Don't 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 cross your fingers yet. Whoa. Okay, yeah, see? I Bam! Did. There you go. Mummy. <laughs> so now you have three, right? Yes. Oh, God. Don't, don't. This is oh. <sighs> and that's an on for... Now you just gotta find the room. I don't think you found the room yet. I oh, I haven't. Room. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Woo. Was that a dead end? Yeah. Okay. Watch the the arrows. That was dumb on my part. I should have just walked straight across. Oh man, this one's nerve wracking. Jeez, man. Okay, nice. Nicely done. All right, I have all the onks now. I, just need to find I the believe room. in you. I think you can do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because then the mummy's going to show don't up. Don't fall. Oh, oh, you're cutting it close, man. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. You know, I'm just going to stay here. I'm just going to live out the rest of my life in this. And you're going to let oh. the mummy get up to you. dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Alright, we've been do here. Not, you, do you not dare. God! Go, go, go! 
All right, well, now we know where he is, so he's hopefully not going to peer around any other corners. Did we check to the right in that room we just passed? Well, actually, I actually have to walkway? check to that right here. That's where I came from, I thought. You think so? I thought so. Oh, maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't recognize it. Uh, I'm... I can't... Oh. Bam! There you go! Go, 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 go! Open, 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 open. Go, 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 go. What? 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 That's it? Fuck yeah, man. Oh shit, that was awesome. You rocked that shit. I escaped. All right, cool. And this this is a game jam game. <sighs> Fucking hell. So uh, I'm I'm really excited to see what the full release is like. And uh, me too. I I don't I. Mm, Bear cook. <laughs> if you do a full release, I will play it. I will play it to completion. I will not let Chris have a turn. Yes. I will shit my pants playing it because I about did it here. I'm sorry for the smell. Like, well done. For a Game Jam game, this is very well done. Couple minor things. Um, the the texture uh, when the wall meets the ceiling is a little uh. I think, uh, I honestly think... That's, that's, that's I know that's minimal and it's not even that big of a well, deal. As, as a game designer, I probably would have done that as a time efficiency thing, right? That's true. It's like if, if that's totally I wouldn't fine. have spent any time worrying about that in a um, game jam. Having a little sound for your torch, because if you have those moments of pure silence, having something to hold on to... That, uh, well, yes and no. Silence... Yes and no. Silence works very well in horror games, just as much as using sounds in horror games. That's fair. Um, torch flickering it gives a little bit of ambience, which can be nice. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess it depends on what what you're going. I guess for if, if that's the case, if if we're sort of relying on the torch as just a light source and not as like a like a security sound, if you will, then why a torch? Why not? I mean, what, it totally like fits a... the theme. Are you thinking like a flashlight instead? Yeah, like if, if... Well, so torches are nice in a game like this because they have that limited, um, like, area of effect, right? Mm -hmm. The Oh, flashlight they, can... Flashlights yeah. reach okay. much, much farther, and if we used a flashlight, suddenly the fear would come more from the sides rather than in front. Yeah, that's true. All right, that's fair. Plus, I guess if you think about it, if you did put in a sound of the torch, it would slightly override the, the ambiance of the music and all that stuff too. That's true. So, and the mu well done with the use of the music, by the way. Yeah, no, I, I think the theming of this game is, is very well done. I mean, it's very like horror meets Indiana Jones kind of feel. Yes. Um, which is awesome, honestly. Um, and I think as a horror game, that stands out from a lot of the, the huge crowd of horror games out there. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I, I don't really have many complaints at all. Um, once you figure out the arrow trap, it ended up being okay. Um, right. Yeah, I, I, I think, think the challenges themselves were, were actually okay. I think movement, uh, similar to um, my complaints on a lot of games, movement and camera control probably need to get fine-tuned, but that's yeah. also expected from a Game Jam game. But uh, my, my biggest caution really is, if you stick with the Doom style, it's going to make a lot of players motion sick really, really quickly if yeah. your camera's moving too fast. Um, I feel like there were times where I was freaking out. and I Yeah. Know. So that's that's just something like... For a finished product, you generally just like give someone um, sensitivity controls for oh, stuff yeah. like that. And you probably just like prototype it with a bunch of like focus tests with a bunch of users to see if it makes them vomity or not. But <laughs> vomity. Adjectives. Vomity works. Anyway, <laughs> Lost Two was a blast. Actually, this is real. It's, once again, fair this, cook. Well done. This game is free on on itch.io. Um, I think it recommends you donate a dollar. And why not? If you Do enjoy it. the game, um, but go check it out. Really I mean, you can, least, you can at, 
you can at least download it and check it out for free and decide whether or not you want to donate a dollar later. But it's the link is in the description, so check it out. Um, uh, question of the day. What's our question of the day? We should have thought of this already. In terms of... And this... Feel free to shoot this down. Um, it, hell, you can even cut this part. I don't give a shit. Um, where would you rank theming in priorities with... Horror game? games? With, with your game in general. That's pretty... Because it, it really does depend on the kind of game that you're playing. I, I would say... Let's, let's make this more specific. Let's say okay. horror games. So... Um, how important do you think theming is in a horror game? Obviously, theme was a big part of this game, mm -hmm. um, and it obviously influenced the mechanics and the challenges of the game, um, but do you think that should take a higher priority, or do you think it's just based on the kind of horror game you're making in general? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's fine with me. Cool. Uh, feel free to comment down below with your answer. We will have, we'll write the question of the day there in case you want to read it and, and and we'd love to hear what people think about it and about lost tomb and we'll i mean Seriously. we'll be talking to you in the the comment section too so or discussing things with you hopefully definitely um, definitely let us know what you think because this was this was a blast and i um there is now a video of me screaming like a little girl on the internet thank you for watching everybody and uh we'll see you in the archives